a song of welcome. Yesh kochavim shehoram magi arza rakasher hem atzma mavdu venam Yesh anashim sheziv zichram meir kasher hem atzma meinam Od betocheinu, O rotele hamavikim, Becheshkat halayil, Hem hem shemarim ladam, Et haderech, et haderech. Hem hem shemarim ladam, et haderech, et haderech. There are stars up above, so far away we only see their light. Long, long after the star itself is gone. And so it is with people that we loved. Their memories keep shining ever brightly, though their time with us is done. But the stars that light up the darkest night, these are the lights that guide us as we live our days. These are the ways we remember, we remember as we live our days. These are the ways we remember, we remember. A big thank you to Hazan Stephanie Weisha from Kol Nefesh, who uh, started us off with that beautiful melody, There Are Stars Up Above. I am Rabbi Linda Joseph, and along with Rabbi Michael Hess Weber, I'm from Beit Aviv. She is from Columbia Jewish Congregation. We are chairs of this Board of Rabbis event for today. Um, thank you all for attending the Howard County Board of Rabbis Jewish Day of Learning, which we've had a break for a while, so we are back um, putting this together. I want to begin by doing a little bit of an orientation for those of you that are not used to this interfaith center. You are currently in room 100, uh, and to the left as you leave this room are rooms 202, 200, and 201. They're on the left, each of them labeled. The other room we'll be using is room 300, which if you go straight ahead, it's sort of on a diagonal opposite the bathrooms, which are also important to remember. They're on the right, straight ahead to the right of the fireplace. On the left is room 300, on the right is the bathrooms. And if you get lost, ushers who are wearing a special tag will let you sh show you the way. I want to point out that um, throughout the afternoon, coffee and snacks are being sold by the CJC teen class in the foyer. They are raising funds for their trip to New York City. Um, and please support them because we wouldn't have coffee and tea and snacks all with hectares um, if they weren't selling them. Uh, also, in our foyer on the right hand side as you leave the here, there are a number of flyers and information um, by some of our stakeholders, by Federation and by Sol Levinson's. Um, and I'll be talking about so both of those in a little bit. Um, and there is also some books for you to look at from PJ Library on this topic that you might want to share with the next generation. This day would not be possible without the sponsorship and donations that we have. So I first want to thank our sponsors. 
um, all the members of our board of rabbis who um, traditionally give money from their rabbinic discretionary funds to underwrite this event. When you see a rabbi with rabbi on their tag, give them a thanks um, as you chat with them um, for their generosity in enabling this event when we do hold it. And this is the first time because we're out of COVID for a while. Um, I also want to uh, thank very much Saul Levinson's and Brothers Funeral Home, whose professionalism, generosity is always so appreciated. Representing them today on our program is Greg King. And Greg, I'm going to ask you to come up and say a few short words. Um, if you have any questions about arranging a funeral or about resources on death and mourning, Greg is the go-to person and will be here this afternoon. Do you want to come up and say a few words, Greg? Yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you for having me. I want to thank everyone for being here. Um, it's really an honor to not just to sponsor this event, but to be really a part of this community, um, the entire Jewish community in the greater Baltimore, greater Washington area. Um, and we just hope that we can help provide educational resources and just an outlet for any type of information that families, people, individuals need. Um, I want to just encourage anybody that's here to take any information we have out. We have a lot of community outreach projects, bereavement groups, and information about green burials, which are, is, is something that a lot of people have been inquiring about, so we're really trying to promote green burials. I was just talking with David Zinner about how Jewish people have been, have been participating in green burials for thousands of years, and uh, the rest of the world is just catching up, I think. So um, I want to just wish everybody a, um, well, first, a uh, happy New Year, which was a few weeks ago, and um, I hope you really enjoy today. Please, my card's out there. Any, any questions you have, if I'm not here, I can just be here for a little while, but if I'm not here, take my card, give me a call. Any questions you have, we're here to answer. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Greg. Um, another big thank you um, for, to another one of our sponsors, the Jewish Federation of Howard County, who supports many uh, our people in this county, as well as many programs. Today, they're represented by a new member of the Federation team, their social worker, Lakeisha Ordain. Lakeisha, will you stand for those that don't know you so they can, thank you. I'm hoping we'll get to know Lakeisha very well over time. Please welcome her to our area. And she welcomes your questions about the resources and programs that Federation is offering, especially in caregiving and grief counseling, um, which relates to the topic that we're studying today. I also want to thank the Oh My Green team who have provided sustainable and recyclable implements for meals on this day. We thank them for their generosity and their work for Tikkun Olam. Yeah. And I want to acknowledge people online. We have quite a number of people online as well as people in the room. Uh, many of you have made donations above and beyond the cost of the program and your generosity, thank you for that. Um, it allows us to fulfill our dreams of presenting a quality offering, which the Board of Rabbis always wants to do, so thank you. And finally, I want to thank our volunteers for this day. Jackie Gordon, Jerry Lipov, Sharon Unger, Bonnie Sorak, Norman Engelberg, Leslie Marcuse, and a big shout out to the CJC and Beta Viv Usher team wearing special badges under the leadership of Steve Rothman. And yeah. And to all of you who are participating, whether you are in the room or in stream spot right now, um, all of those present, um, thank you for joining us. And um, we hope this day of learning will be for you a blessing. You should, all should have received from the ushers a schedule for the day and where you need to be. Um, our next session will be in this room, in room 100. We'll then go to breakout groups. We have two rounds of breakout groups, then we have dinner, and then we have some special speakers in the evening. Um, I hand the podium over to Rabbi Michael Hess Weber, um, who will set the scene for today. Hello, all. 
Hi. <laughs> it's nice to get a response. And it's so nice to be in this room together. And we felt it was important to set sort of a kavanah for today, especially because of the content that we're going to be covering as the day progresses. You know, six, days of, six hours of learning is a lot of learning no matter what. But today we're taking on learning around death, dying, and the afterlife. And so as we embark on this learning journey, it's important to acknowledge that death is no easy topic. Um, we often avoid it. We all do because it's hard to face the truth of our own mortality, the, limit, the limited quality of our lives. We also know that everyone in this room comes with their own experience around death and dying. And so that will impact how each and every one of us enters into these conversations today, these conversations with one another. So we just wanna honor really explicitly and transparently you, wherever you are, whatever you are bringing into this learning, welcome and thank you for being here. And if there are moments when you just need to step out, you just need to take a break. I don't need to say this, I hope, but I'm going to just in case. Please do. Please take care of yourself and prioritize your own sense of peace and well-being. And like Rabbi Linda said, there are cookies outside. And I know cookies always help. There's gluten-free cookies, too, for those of you who don't eat flour. Um, but please do care for yourself today. And let us care for one another as well. So as we prepare to receive, absorb, engage in lots and lots of Torah this afternoon, it makes sense to begin in earnest with our prayer for Torah study. And so, as always, I like to take a deep breath before we say a bracha. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher kidshanu b'mitzvotav v'tzivanu la'asok b'divrei Torah. Amen. God of our ancestors, source of all life and all knowledge, we bless you for raising us up in holiness this afternoon as we embark on the mitzvah of engaging with your sacred Torah. May we learn new things about ourselves and learn new things about one another as we do. Amen, amen. 